hydrogen is still a useful source or transfer mechanism for energy. Um, it has some things going for it. It's actually very dense, maybe not on a volumetric basis as like atmospheric pressure hydrogen, but, but compressed hydrogen, hydrogen stored in a metallic hydride lattice actually has a pretty high specific energy. It has a okay. pretty high energy density. Okay. Um, and that can be useful for things. You know, one thing as a society, we're, we're undergoing this massive transition to electrification. Yes. Both yeah. in passenger vehicles and buses and industrial processes. Everything is going electric. Uh, just in the same way that early in the last century, we transitioned from uh, gas lamps to electric lamps. Or from coal powered trains to uh, I don't actually know what trains run. <laughs> electricity. Most of them really? are hybrid electric. You know, oh. they've got a big diesel generator. They generate electricity, and that runs an electric oh. motor. Uh, so, yeah, the most common more. hybrid in the world, you know, by you know percentage of the fleet is probably you know trains. Oh, the more you know. Um, but anyway, long story short, you know, we're we're undergoing this massive transition to electricity. There are some processes, there are some applications that are really hard to decarbonize, that are really hard to electrify. Um, I mean, some examples of that might be long haul aviation, you know, transatlantic flights. Steel production is another good example of that. Uh, steel production is really hard to decarbonize. Hydrogen has applications in these areas. And if you can get the hydrogen cheaply uh, from like, a, you know, an abundant energy source like stranded wind generation or nuclear generation, if you can make it effectively, or even from natural gas in a way that very carefully sequesters the carbon, that may be the kind of hydrogen economy that we see in the next 10 years. Okay. Is it going to have the impact that batteries have? My gut tells me, my intuition tells me probably not, but I'm willing to be proven wrong about that.